Well, welcome along to Peter's Hill Park as the teams come out for next match day in the SWPL. It's Glasgow setting hearts. It's third against fourth. Glasgow City, third level in points with the top two of Rangers Celtic, just separated by goal difference. 100% record against Hearts, who have had a very good start to the season, recruited well over the summer as you all had side. It's not just a normal game today as well, it's a special day for Claire Shine, who announced this week a retirement from football. And then she starts today in her final game for the club, looking at the team news now. And that is the figure we'll see number 10 of Claire Shine for the last time in the Glasgow City Colours. Hale Order captain the side, Evan Clackers, remains in goal. It was a terrific performance, a 4 0 win against Hibs 10 days or so a goal. Well, as I mentioned, Ford Hearts, they have made some good recruitments. Likes of Emma Brownlee from Rangers is one of those that does feature. So that Parker Smith is usually a, a problem in goals. Terrific shot stopper. Top scorer has been Georgia Timms, and she starts today. Here's Muir. Good headway for Shine. Foley for Chinchia. Motoring past Smith. Here's Shine. Of course, you can have a go. It's Clear Shine. And well, I think everyone will be looking for a goal from Clear Shine today. It's a wonderful effort. Well met by Parker Smith. Best chance in the opening stages. On to the Irish player. Great effort. Full in. First corner of the game for Glasgow City. It is deep there. Clark around. Chinchia and Shine. Keep it alive. There's Shine once more. Picked out Lauder really well here. Looking to deliver it. Clark rising! And she stayed up there from the corner. And a terrific train mark. Jenna Clark header for the opening goal after eight and a half minutes. Well, terrific play from the second phase of the corner. A tremendous heel of their ball. And no doubt where it was heading when it connected to Jenna Clark's head. For the opener on this. Return to league action and big day as well. Clackers for the goal scorer Clark. Midway through this first half now. Goal coming in the ninth minute. Terrific ball picked out for Davidson. And to march round Rollinson. Go for herself. Took a deflection. Keeper made the dive. Not quite sure if she knew it was going by. But all deceiving Nick. Caused a problem there. Towards Whelan, falling out. Might stay alive for Davis at the other side. Loud challenge in, but ball won by Rawlinson. Didn't quite pick the right pass forward through the hearts. Now Clark getting time to stride. And maybe can assist here for Priscilla Chintia. Straight up Parker Smith. And into her hands. Well, Hart's looking to break in the terrific interception. From the City goal scorer, in terms of provider for Chinchia, keeper made it difficult and smashed it into Parker Smith. Lauder, early delivery, there's Shine coming in, and that was a big moment for her, still in play there for Chinchia, looking for a handball but it will be a corner. Well, the ball in, the early ball in was uh, superb. Didn't quite sit for player shine. Lauder to take, 33 on the clock. Clark up there once more for a second in the game. Half clear to Chinchia. Trying to get out of her feet, couldn't quite do so. Back to halfway with Muir. Lauder on side and picking up here. Another early delivery. Now Shine with a flick on. Again in a good spot, this time got the connection. Quite a long way out though. And it was comfortable enough for Parker Smith. Walsh across to Foley on that. 
space on the far side. Fulton thought this was S here by Grant and Hearts could have a chance here. Here's Root and taken well by Clackers. Angle was tight with the defender in front. But no harm done. Now Chinchia roving up the channel. Now Lauder set up there for Shite a blast off the crossbar. The roof is nearly off Peter Silt. And a great try that was. Still alive here with Lauder trying to dance through, but and pushed back, but still with Davidson. For a cross, shines here with a touch. And I don't think I needed to say too much more there. Just uh, again, two moments for you know, Shine. City fans hoping she will get that wound at some point in the second half. City, of course, still looking for that uh, bit of breathing space. Hilton, nice pace and load it. Trying to get Davidson a little lap and she's easily past Rollinson across here. Oh, it's just went through the keeper. <laughs> and that will be the second and that is the daylight. 65 on the clock. A bit of fortune with the finish in the end, perhaps. But well executed from City, great move. A 20th league goal in a Glasgow City jersey. And she had an impressive month of goals. And another one to the tally. Davidson wins that back. The goal scorer of the second. Now Greening. Fully looking for it. Down that side. Just too long throw from Greening. Fulton across for Muir. Davidson. Muir can down the run, but Davidson will have a crack. And what a try. Mel met at that near post by Parker Smith. As soon as the space opened up, she was going to have a go. <laughs> well, here's the moment that we didn't want to quite see just yet, but we are going to see, and all for the greater good. And, well, tears. On the pitch, tears in the stand. It's very hard not to well up a applause from Haley Lauder as well. 47 league goals, 9 league cup goals, 11 Scottish cup goals, 3 goals in Europe, 70 in total, 4 league quarter finals the Champions League, a couple of Scottish Cup as well, a hat trick in the 15 final, 19 cup final, those two late goals, particularly the 19th minute goal. And uh, a wonderful footballer, a wonderful goal scorer, an even better person that's risen through a lot and still going to be part of the club and just a wonderful, wonderful person. What a moment. She has been something special. And as we say farewell to one, we say welcome as well to Aliyah Ali, who makes her debut in Glasgow City Colours, the South African that signed a couple of weeks or so back. Ali with the helping hand and, well, no free kick, no foul, and a little twist and turn for Anderson here, near post, met by Clackers. Out for a corner kick. Now Clackers had bits and pieces to do, but not too many chances where she had to make a save. And that says the mark of a decent keeper. 87 minutes on the clock. And there is the final whistle at Pearsall Park. And a day where, first of all, there's 90 minutes to play for and three points. Which, as I said, got the job done. Hearts have got better and better over the season in the top flight. And obviously, shown here, it was third end's fourth before kickoff. But they got their goals through. Jack Clark in the ninth minute of the game, terrific header from across. And Lauren Davidson with a finish through the keeper and just added a bit of a gap 
in the scoreboard at Hearts, never made it easy. But the big moment was Claire Shine's final appearance for Glasgow City, retiring from football, and, well, she's trying her best to get in the action. Not quite, though. But certainly played her part. But she had a big bow, and I think as a very big congratulations and moment here, Joel, of course, club captain, being out, of course, hoping to see her back in the bit soon, has got some flowers. A special player, a special person, as I say, just, uh, uh, and sometimes you kind of just need to shut up like I'm going to do now because it just fills your throat.